Hello everyone. Welcome to our SOLIDWORKS simulation tutorials. Our today topic is to carry out static analysis of an anchor assembly with edge with edge as well as with bolt connections. Here is this anchor assembly. You can download this assembly from our video descriptions. So in this tutorials you will learn how we can define weld size and how can, can we simulate the weld. Be it our weld size and how we can know that our weld size is safe or not. Beside this, you will also define the bolt connections at these holes. Another thing of this tutorial is that we will use mixed ma mixed meshing techniques. That means there will be solid, me solid meshing as well as the shell meshing. So these both rods will be used for shell type meshing. So let's start our journey now. After opening it, start a new simulation study in SOLIDWORKS. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, click on new study and give it a name that is assembly analysis. Okay. So first of all, you will define materials for all the part of this hanger assembly so go to part you can see here are the parts the back plate that is a solid part and connecting rod 1 and 2 both part are surface parts then hook as well as weld plate 1 and weld plate 2 Right click on parts. Select apply material to all. Our material is AISI 1035. That is a stainless steel material. Apply. Okay. So you can see that now that material has been added here. Before moving forward, we should know the boundary conditions of this assembly. This assembly is fixed on this part surface and a load of 600 Newton is applied on this face in the direction of Y or in vertical directions. So you can see uh, the surface part that is connected to rod 1 and 2, the thickness not defined. So right click and go to edit definition. Here, define the thickness of the rod that is 2 mm. Similarly, define thickness for an other rod that is also 2 mm. Okay, now it's time to define weld connections as well as bolt connections. From the connections,
click on the connections and select the edge weld wait until edge weld connector box appear from weld type select fillet single sided and for face set 1 select the this face of the connecting rod 1 and for face set 2 select this face as of weld blade you can see in intersecting edge has been selected in purple color by default and from weld sizing select american standard and electrode type is E60 then define the estimated weld size that is 2 millimeter ok so we have defined an edge weld connectors between connecting rod as well as this weld plate Similarly, we will, we will define or you will define four, three other connectors, one here, one here and one here. So please repeat the last step three times again. So in the first part, we will define the four edge weld sizes you can see first second third and fourth and in this second part of tutorials you will define the board connectors again go to the connections and select the bolt here is the board and the front type Select countersink with nut. Here, select a conical face. This is the conical face. And other thing is the circular edge. For nut and other side and to the this back plate. So select this edge. You can see here is the nut diameter and nut shank or body diameter. And ensure the material is elastic for both bolt as well as nut. And our nut is in pre-axial load. So we will define a pre-axial load of 100 pound force. So write 100 pound force in pre-load tag. Countersink screw with nut and this yellow line show the preload. Similarly, we will define other seven nut and bolt connectors. So please repeat the last step again. As you can see here, go to bolt. And from type select countersink bolt and then select the 
conical face and edge and other side again define the preload that is in x directions with the value of 100 pound force so repeat this for other six bolts